my anti-aging skincare routine in the morning. Hi, I'm Glory B from Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you click the red subscribe button and then click the little gray bell next to it, you'll be informed every time there's a new video and they'll all apply to you. The skincare routine we use in the morning can have a great anti-aging effect over time. I'll show you what I'm using today in the morning for my skincare. I start with a gentle cleanser. Right now I'm using the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser, but there are others that I use as well, and I'll link them below in the description box so you can check them out for yourself. This is a nice cleanser for normal to dry skin. Um, even if you have some breakouts like I still tend to do, this is a good one. I just use a little bit, just massage it all over my skin and rinse off with warm water. Next, I use an exfoliant. These are great for smoothing out your skin, and as you rinse it off your skin, your skin will feel really nice and soft and smooth. Now, I have several that I use, and I rotate them from day to day. I have another video where I reviewed several that I think are great, that I really enjoy, that are great for mature skin. And at the end of the video, I'll link to that video so you can check it out. Now, a couple of them that I brought with me today to show you. One is the Mizon Special Care Apple Smoothie Peeling Gel. It, you don't really feel so much peeling, but there is some exfoliating that happens when you use this. Another one that I really like is the Dermalogica Daily Exfoliant. This is actually a powder and you put some in your hand and put a couple drops of water and make a paste. And for both of these, you put them all over your face and I like to take moist fingers and just massage it into my skin and then rinse it off. And like I said, your skin just feels amazing after using one of these gentle exfoliants. After that, I use a toner, and for years now, I've used Neutrogena's alcohol-free toner. It's so gentle. It's very affordable. I just put a few drops on a cotton ball, swab that all over my face, and it gives a nice pH balance to the skin. Next come the serums, and I use two. Now, the first of these has been a game changer for my skin, and that is vitamin C serum. Now, I either use the brand from Timeless, or I make my own, and I did a video on that. I'll link that video in the description box below. So I'll alternate between using the Timeless one, and when I run out of that, I'll make my own, and then I'll buy more of the Timeless. And this has made my skin, I would say, smoother and more luminous. It doesn't happen overnight. It happened maybe four to six months after I started using vitamin C serum. Now, I used this twice a day when I was using it once a day. I only, only used it at night, but this has been it for me. This is the one with vitamin C, 20% vitamin C, E, and ferulic acid serum. And then I put in a second serum, also from Timeless, and I rotate different kinds. Usually I'm using one of their Matrixel serums. This time I'm, I purchased their Pure Line, the Hyaluronic Acid, which is a great product to use to hold moisture in the skin. Now, most of their other serums also have Hyaluronic Acid in them, and so I find the combination of the vitamin C plus the hyaluronic acid is great. I'll put four drops of the vitamin C serum into my left palm, just right in my hand, and then two drops of the other serum. Then I take two or three fingers of my right hand and mix it together, and then I pat it all over my face. Now, I'll put it on the skin below my eyebrow, but I don't put it on my eyelids or anywhere near my eyes, really. Um, well, actually, I get as close as I can without it getting too close. And then when I'm done, whatever is left over my left hand, I put that on my neck. I let the serum sit for about 30 seconds, and then I apply a moisturizer as a barrier. Now, usually I use one of the Paula's Choice um, 
moisturizers or also one of the CeraVe, the CeraVe PM moisturizer. I know it's PM, which is supposed to be nighttime and this is daytime, but it's a great moisturizer. But right now, I'm using up the rest of my Nudu brand gentle moisturizer. I reviewed Nudu in another video. So using this up, I don't use a lot because I have one more product to use after this. And when I apply it, it's just, you know, a small amount about the size of a green pea. And I spread that all over my face. I don't get too close to my eyes. And I don't know if you've ever experience this but um, if you put the product too close to your eyes and then 10 minutes later you feel like you have product in your eyes it's because the product seeps into our skin and then travels a little bit further than where we placed it on top of the skin so that's why you don't want to get some of these products too close to your eyes because you will feel it in your eyes the most important part of my skincare routine is sunscreen every day 365 days a year I've been wearing a full spectrum of sunscreen for many years and that means by full spectrum that it blocks both UVA and UVB rays there are two types of sunscreen one is mineral sunscreens also known as physical sunscreens and also chemical sunscreens now when you look at the ingredient list you can notice a chemical sunscreen because the ingredients one or more of them will have the letters ATE at the end of the word at the end of the ingredient mineral sunscreens will contain titanium dioxide and zinc oxide and that's a type of sunscreen that I prefer. Now I've been using the Paula's Choice brand for years. I just love them. They're just very well formulated. She's researched them for years, has great teams working behind the scenes to create really good sunscreens. They're unscented and she has different kinds for different skin types. Now, typically I've been using the Skin Recovery line. I really like that one, but she had this one on sale some time ago this is the essential glow moisturizer broad spectrum spf 30. it's pretty good but probably next time i'll go back to the skin recovery now if i was told that i could only have one skincare product for the rest of my life it would be sunscreen i started wearing this into my my mid to late 30s and now i'm 59 and the sunscreen has made a huge difference and like I said even though I live in an area where it's cold I even wear it in the winter I'm going to show you how much I use it's not very much and it spreads really far but I only use that much let's see if you can see yep and I just spread it between my fingers like this I pat it all over my face which I'm not going to do now because I'm wearing makeup and then I work it all in and I go down my neck and um, right now I'm just going to put this on the back of my hands, which makes no sense because it is February. When I go outside, I will be, <laughs> I'll be wearing gloves. After the sunscreen, I wait about 20 or 30 minutes before I start applying my makeup. I just go do something else. Now check out some of my other videos, especially my nighttime skincare routine, by clicking the video on the right side of your screen, and I'll see you in the next video.